Joe Hicks. I'm a potter, ceramic designer, and associate professor of art at Marymount University. I produce a wide variety of functional and decorative pottery vessels through investigating an American interpretation of the traditional Japanese glaze called Shino. Each piece is a unique artifact fused from the interactions of fire, clay, and feldspar, and they are intended to meld the qualities of aesthetic exploration and daily use. My production studio is at my house, where I work and live in Mount Rainier, Maryland. Mount Rainier is an amazing place to live in that it's in the Gateway Arts District, a designated arts district by the state of Maryland where over 150 professional artists have studios, work, and live. Living in the Gateway Arts District provides countless opportunities to partner with other artists, community members, and businesses in an effort for community advancement and proliferation of the arts. My production work mostly consists of functional ceramic vessels for daily use and a variety of other vessels that can be used for containers or decoration. I also like making really large vessels. Their expansive surface area allows for more exploration and integration with the firing process to create a variety of results. After my clay pots have dried and been bisque fired, the next step is to glaze. This process incorporates a mixture of clay, feldspars, and other materials that form the glassy, melted surface on the ceramic vessel. I use a glaze referred to as carbon trapchino, which is a variation of a historical Japanese glaze from the Momoyama period during the mid to late 1500s. The Momoyama period was an important time that offered exploration in new philosophies and aesthetics that are still influential around the world today. Through the interests of exploration and discovery and the efforts of several American potters, a variation was produced referred to as American Shino or Carbon Trap Shino. With the addition of soda ash and the American variation, this offers the opportunity for soda crystals to grow on the surface and integrate with carbon in the firing atmosphere to create another layer. Once the pots are glazed, I then load them into the kiln and brick up the door and prep for firing. My firings take between 15 and 20 hours, which does not include the preheat the day before. Three days after the firing, the kiln is cool enough to open, and I finally get to see the results of the firing. All of the glaze surfaces are, are unique and mostly unexpected. I don't have much control on their outcomes, which makes this firing process both exhilarating and tumultuous. It also offers endless exploration and discovery, which is why I can't get enough of it. <laughs>